to do the tutorial on the, I don't even know what you call it, I guess, vinyl glass portraits. All right, so you want to download this app right here, um, in Emma Engine, Emma Engine, um, and you want to do the Emma Engine School Edition because that's the one that's going to allow you to save it as an SVG. All right, so you open that up, it'll come up like this. This is for iPhone only. Um, I don't know what you can do for um, an Android or Samsung because I don't have one and I don't know anyone that has one so that I can um, so that I can figure it out. I know Snapseed is another one I think someone mentioned, but um, I know I can do Snapseed, but I don't know if it's for Android either. So um, you will click import image. I am going to do an image of my grandmother and I'm going to just make a memorial um, shadow box for my dad. Um, so, oh yeah, I chose to do this picture. Um, and sometimes it's like a hit or miss. Some pictures will, will show up like with great detail. But I think when there's a lot of, a lot of light in the picture, it doesn't show up so well. And you'll see when I pull this one up. Um, so as you can see, there's not a lot of lights. But then there's the dials you can play with down here on the bottom. And when I move the stroke up some, it puts a little more detail back into her face. Um, so um, that kind of fills it in a lot more and gives me a lot more detail. Um, so you can move it around as you see fit. Um, I think I forget which what does what, but um, you can kind of just play around and just stop it what you like. Um, and I, I like this, um, I, sorry, I like this. So you can also, if there's something that you see that you don't like, like I, um, when I did another picture of myself, it was these and I didn't like them cause it connected with my nose sort of, well, not exactly like how it is in the picture. So I erased, um, my smile lines um so if you click on edit up at the top i think y'all can see my mouth i'm not sure <laughs> um but anyways it's the editor i believe um and you click the nodes which is that third icon over to the side the nodes will pop up no, it's not the node. Sorry, it's the arrow. And you can click on this and you can erase anything you want. Like anything that you don't want on the picture. Um, I will show you something as an example, but I actually do like it the way it is. So I won't touch anything. But you can add it or you can extend a line. Um... So, you know, you just kind of play around with it as you wish. If you mess up, you can go back or you can undo or you can just start all over again um, if you feel like you just screwed up too bad. So anyways, you would, once you're done, um, you would click share. And I linked my Dropbox with it. So I saved mine in my Dropbox. Or if you have Adobe CC or Illustrator or whatever else you have, you can open it up in that but I save it into my Dropbox and then we're going to go to my screen let me see if I know how to do this while I'm recording hmm. all right um, okay so I think I'm supposed to share my screen so we're gonna do that um, and let me bring up my Cricut Design Space. And I'm also going to bring up my, it's already here because I had already downloaded it. 
Um, and then I'm going to click download. I went to my Dropbox already and I click download and then I'm going to do a new project. And let me put my grid lines back. I took them out so I can screenshot. But I do like my grid lines. Not that I need it for this, I guess. And then you will upload the image. I like to drag and drop mine because I know where to find it just in my finder. And so I drop it off there. Name it. All right. And then I'm going to click save. All right. So now you are going to want to say so this is gigantic. I don't recall any of mine coming in this big. But anyways, you're going to want to ungroup it. And then once you ungroup, ooh, are you serious? Yikes. That was a lot to take in. <laughs> yeah, that is scary. Too bad away from the pedestrian path. Don't, don't you run away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry guys. <laughs> they honestly don't care when I'm doing the tutorial at all. <laughs> if you watch, like, any of my tutorials, all of them, they are probably in every last one of them. Um, so anyways, of course you make it the size you need to make it. My shadow box is nine inches by nine inches. So I'm probably gonna make mine, and this is like a hat. So I'll probably make it, um, because I'm gonna put words with this too. So anyways, I'm gonna play around with this and then, when I have the final product, we will, the next thing you'll see is me, um, what do you call it, weeding it. All right, so now you want to get your picture and you want to get your transfer paper or contact paper. I am using the Cricut transfer paper. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's what I have. So until I go out trying to look for some more, um, I just use the Cricut transfer paper. I do like the fact that it has lines on it because I'm able to line my picture up on it and um and make sure i get it lined up right on my project so you want to make sure you have all of your weeding out so double check and make sure you don't still have some that you haven't um pulled off and so i like to first lay down my transfer paper and then I like to lay my picture on top of it um, most of the time the transfer paper or contact paper is really flimsy so when you're trying to <clears throat> lay it on top of your picture it doesn't always fall right so I like to lay my picture on top of the contact or transfer paper and then you want to um, transfer it over by using your smoothing tool or scraping tool I'm not quite sure what that one's called um, to make sure you get all the pieces. 
And here my contact paper is doubled because the other one ripped when I was doing another project. So I laid another piece of contact paper on top of it because um, it was already on my vinyl when it ripped. So I put another piece to hold it together, which I like that better kind of because it's thicker. So anyways, make sure it's smoothed out. And then when you peel it off, just make sure everything is coming off with it. If it's not, then smooth it back and try again. All right, so now you want to get your glass. Um, and of course, you can do this on whatever. It doesn't have to be glass. You can do it on a canvas as well. Um, my glass is a nine by nine, like I mentioned. And of course, line it up wherever you're going to put it on the glass or the canvas. It's really hard to tell um, on the glass, which is kind of why I like the lines. And then smooth it with your scraping tool so that it can stick to the glass. This is the part that kind of can be annoying when you're peeling this off because all of the pieces don't stick. So then you're either trying to use the tweezers to transfer it over manually or you have to continue to keep trying to go back through and smooth it out sometimes. And you'll notice um, if you start from the top and it's not working, but then you switch and start from the bottom um that tends to work out better um which is what happened here so then once i'm struggling on one side i'll go to the opposite end and see if that helps out All right, and those pieces that's on my contact paper is from something else. They're stuck in between the two contact papers. All right, and now it's time to do the words, and you do the same exact thing. I laid mine on top of the contact paper. I had to redo my words because I messed up the first set. Um, that I had that you saw in the other clip when I was weeding. Um, so this is a different font. But it was a lot easier to weed this font. Whatever font I used the last time, I most certainly won't use it again. Because um, it was not easy weeding it the tails on the cursive ends <coughs> wouldn't lay flat all right then you do the same you smooth it and you peel also my swirl at the top my cricket did not cut it so it's not even a full swirl. Um, I, I don't know what was up with that. It has done that a few times.
and as you can see most of the time when you switch sides it'll peel better and then you transfer it when I redid this, I did not realize that I made it too wide because like I said, these were not the original words. So when I switched the lettering, these letters were a lot bigger than the last letters, but I didn't think to go back in and change the width. Um, So it did end up being too long, but it still worked out. It at least filled up all the space. And then you're going to do the same thing, smooth it out. I really don't like using vinyl. Um, I am going to try to HTV this and someone told me that I could HTV it. So I'm definitely going to try it. And if so, bye bye vinyl. I just love to press and go. Um, I don't do the vinyl and the transferring that much because it's so super annoying to me and, and it takes too long. But maybe if I find like better contact paper and um, better vinyl, it might not be such a hassle. All right, and like I said, I don't know what happened to my swirl at the top, but I'll just take that off. All right, and then that's it.